Good day, fellow investors. Today we're going to discuss the importance of reading, especially the risk part, of an annual report. A US company gives a 10K annual report, while a company that has headquarters outside the US has a 20F annual report. And in those annual reports, item 1A in the 10K is risk, risk factors, and also at the top, page 5 to 7 usually in the 20F, risk factors are explained for the whole company. Our viewer Olawase Lapite wrote a comment on my video about UPI Holdings, about their risks and how we should read the 20F and what are the concerns. And this is essential to investing in every stock. You have to always read the 20F, especially the risk part, because then you can understand what can happen and if that happens, you can understand how to behave in that situation. We we'll go through a few examples in order to show what does it mean, where do you find, what to look at, and to make it more familiar. So you will see it's a lot of work to read those reports, those are 100, 200 reports, but slowly, if you know where to look, it takes much less time, and it gives a lot of value to every kind of investment analysis or investment idea. Just an example. If you here look at Unilever's 20F, you can see that there are risks from 36 to 20, 42, so six pages of risks. If I go deeper into the example, what are the risks from brand preference, portfolio management, sustainability, climate change, because they work in food, so if the climate changes, they have to adapt, they have to be sustainable, the risk of diseases, and everything that can take such a company treasuries, pensions, a big company, a lot of pension liabilities. If their funds don't match the returns expected, then they have to pay much more for that. So a lot of risks. Just to look at 20F from UPI, you can see here that there is a lot to read. However, the key risks are usually on the top about the information of the company. Nevertheless, very important to read the 20F and 10K reports. If I type in risk in the, my Chrome search and the word risk comes out 323 times in UPI's 20F. So really you can see how focused is a company on risk and describing it in the annual report. As for the risks mentioned in our viewers comment about the Chinese real estate and the risks inherent to that. Is it a bubble? Is it not a bubble? It's clearly this explained in UPI's 20F. And I'm also going to make a video about it in order to show what are the risks, the timing of the bursting of the bubble and how can money still be made. So it's a very interesting approach. But if you read such a 20F, you can understand the risks better and see if this is something for you. As I said, for US companies, the 10K item 1A is the risk factor sector. So you really can read, in this case I have put Apple, global and regional economic conditions, global markets for the company's products, competition, and so on and so on and so on. Usually companies are very detailed because the issuer of the stocks, the JP Morgans, the Goldman Sachs, write this for them. So it's very, very detailed. So to conclude, always, before making any investment in a stock, at least read the risk part in detail, really paragraph by paragraph, because that's the essential for understanding what's going on and what can go wrong in the business. What if the economy changes? What if there is a recession? What are the risks? How fast does the company have to make changes? And so and so and so. So very interesting, very important to read. I'm looking forward to your comments. Leave them below if you have any questions, any other suggestions about what's important to read in the annual report for our viewers in order for us to be better investments, lower our risks and increase our returns. I'll see you in the next video.